Hey YouTube, this is NJ4Y5 and this is going to be a really super quick video. Um, I just to uh, give you guys a heads up, I'm still editing, still trying to get the move situation done. Um, I've got tons of videos to drop on you guys. Uh, I'll be dropping them, like I said, in the next few weeks. Uh, I know I said that last time and it's been probably a month since I dropped the video. But uh, I finally got some time. I can start editing now. Um, I've got my welder I got to build. I've got this tennis I got to build. Uh, let me grab something real quick. I've got a 10s balance board that I built for you guys. Uh, you guys will like that one. Yeah, don't, I really don't know if it's gonna work. You know, in theory it should work. Um, I'll probably drop that video. It'll be a two-part video probably with this 10s and the battery build with the new welder but uh i just wanted to drop a quick uh i guess a quick tip to all you guys that have your diy welders and you're having issues i've noticed a lot of people online are always talking about how they're having issues with the welds it only heats up it only does this or it only does that well this is one of the quickest and the easiest tips that i could probably give you and this will probably help out a lot of people um when you're welding you want to make sure when you're welding you want to make sure that your tips are clean you don't want no black on there you don't want them to be uh, you know with film on there or anything like that you want to make sure they're clean you also want to make sure that you've got a tip of some sort uh, I've seen people use just the edge of a you know thicker wire or whatever they use make sure you're using copper um, a lot uh, I, I try to use uh, this kind of copper or try to use a uh, the professional tips they're cheap as hell you can get them online um a lot of people don't realize how cheap they are but they're man i think you can get them for under you know under five bucks per, fairly easy um one of the tips that a lot of people don't realize is when you're welding um you're gonna push you're gonna push down on your on your welds you're gonna push down your welds and you'll see a lot of people they'll push down they'll push down real hard and you'll see you'll see a glow well if you're seeing a glow the problem is you're pushing on it way too hard and a simple way to to uh fix that or to uh i guess practice is uh get one of these cheap you know little cheap wares and uh, put it on ounces and what i like to do uh if i'm having issues and i know i'm pushing too hard i'll do this real quick so I'll turn it on ounces and I'll push down and the the trick is you want to push down you want to go to about 400 400 is about you know 400 500 is probably right where you want to be 600 you know you don't want to be down into the thousands or the two thousands or anything like that because that's way too hard uh, the harder you push on the nickel strip uh, the higher the resistance and that's why you're getting a glow so if you lit up on the tips just a smidge, you know, just enough, like I said, you'll want a, you'll want about 500. 500 is a good 500. I've seen people go as low as um, 400. But, it, you know, I use this. Sometimes I'll come around. I'll come here and I'll just kind of get a feel for it. You just want to keep it I, if I had to guess you want to keep it under a thousand and it probably depends on the welder you know how strong it is uh, like uh, I've got the newest welder and I've got four wraps on there with two gauge wire I believe um, I ended up taking out the shim so that I could put another wrap on there because I'm starting to find out that with the, the lower wattage the lower amps are they if I if I got the transformer and it's wrapped and I've got one to two volts I've noticed that I'll, I'll struggle a little bit more with the welds because you know it's real testy because you got more amps coming through through to the uh, leads and um, so what I'm finding out is if I can add another wrap and get it to somewhere around three volts to four volts I seem to be able to maintain a better weld that way um, every welder is different and a lot of people don't realize because they never show you online is not every transformer is gonna weld 
um, you're probably going to get some transformers that just no matter what you do three wraps four wraps two wraps one wrap whatever you're just not going to be able to weld with it it's real testy uh, so you want to make sure that you know you you want to make sure that you know your welder works of course but like I said a real simple trick is grab yourself a weight one of these little weight scales and like I said just practice keep it around I'd say keep it around 500 that's almost the perfect perfect uh, pressure for a good weld and uh, I'm finding out with the DC welds compared to the AC welds the DC welds they send they, they tend to act a little bit different I've noticed with the DC welds it doesn't really matter how hard you push um, well of course you don't want to push super hard but the DC welds tend to weld a lot I don't know if it's they kind of like it's almost like they melt the nickel strip a little bit you know the, the AC welds I'm finding out like I said like with the pressure points like this but the DC welds are a little bit more different you're gonna kind of the DC weld you, you'll, you'll notice if you ever if you ever have a if you ever have a machine that does DC weld you'll notice the difference between AC and DC there's a they're completely different when they weld um, but this was just a little tip that I wanted to give everybody something I like to do whenever I weld you guys know I got tons of welders I build tons of welders um, I'm always looking for something easy something quick so uh, like I said um, just practice the harder you press down the higher the resistance and a lot of times you're not going to get no weld you're just going to end up with glowing um, glowing nickel strip you're going to heat up your leads you're going to you're going to tarnish or put black on the bottom so uh, like I said keep the pressure around I guess it would be grams would be 500 grams anywhere from three to 800 grams is probably almost perfect also uh, whenever you're you know you got your microwave transformer you know if you ever look at a microwave transformer you'll notice you know before you you know cut off the the winding you'll notice that they call them I think they call them windows you'll notice the windows completely filled up and the reason why the windows completely filled up obviously is they need to utilize the complete uh, power of the transformer um, so with the window completely filled up they're using a hundred percent of this well you know I'm sure there's maybe some space in there somewhere um, you know this one right here I believe is a 700 watt transformer so with it completely filled up they're using you know the full 700 watts if you get a transformer and like I see a lot of people, they'll do something like this. Um, this right here, I mean, you might get welds, of course, but uh, you're not going to be using the complete power of this transformer. If you look through here, you can see, you know, you can see through it. Um, if I had to guess, you squish everything down. This right here is probably going to be using maybe 60% of the power. So if you've got a, let's say if you got a 1000 watt transformer and you're trying to use, you know, the full 1000 watts to get your welds, you're going to see like something like this is only going to be using 50 to 60% of the power of this transformer. So if you've got a 700 watt transformer and you're trying to weld with it, you're not really going to get no welds if you only got, you know, 50% of the power because that's only 350 watts. So you want to try to make sure whenever you, uh, build these that whatever wire you're using you can put as many wraps in there and uh, fill the eye as much as possible this is not a well this is not for uh, you know microwave transformer but if you notice with this I try to fill it up all the way so this this is going to utilize the full 1000 watts well there's still some I bet you it's about 90% so after it's all said and done I probably this transformer the way I wrapped it it's only going to use 900 watts and that's because I mean a good way to look is you can look through it you know I see a little bit of space so I'm guessing I've used probably 90% of this when you have a transformer uh, you know if you're trying to use like a 700 watt or you know even a 600 watt transformer and I believe you can weld with those 
um, you need to make sure that you fill the eyes up completely you want to make sure it has as much wire as possible because um, oh that's another thing if you look at the wiring too uh, you want to make sure too with the wraps that the wiring the I guess the insulation if you've got insulation and you got that cheap stuff um, you'll get some cheap stuff and the insulation super thick well if you fill this completely and you've got really thick insulation again you're only filling up you know a percentage of that microwave so um, what you want to do is you want to make sure also that the wiring that you have uh, the insulation is thinner you want to make sure it's good insulation obviously um, but the more insulation you have on here the less the less of the power you're gonna have of the transformer so you want to make sure that anything any kind of wiring you use has you know thin insulation you don't want to you don't want to use something that's got half insulation half wire because even if you fill the eye completely or the window completely you're not going to utilize the complete power of the transformer and again if you're using like a 700 watt transformer and you're using cheap wire with super thick uh insulation you're not going to utilize full you know the full power and you're probably not going to get no welds so the trick is to make sure that you fill the eyes completely um uh, you know i know that it's not possible sometimes with the wire you're using but like this right here i probably couldn't get another wrap with this but i bet you i probably couldn't get no welds with this not with this kind of wiring i'd have to figure out how to get another wrap in there or figure out a way find some wire that I can actually get another wrap in there or something that utilizes the complete 700 watts that's why when uh, you're building your microwave transformers it's probably a good idea to find the highest wattage as possible if you got something that's like 1500 watts and you've only got like a few wraps like this and you've only filled 60% of it you're still gonna be using a thousand watts of power so you'll still have enough to weld so that's just another trick I you know I learned across along the way you just want to make sure you want to fill the eyes and uh, what a lot of people do too is after they fill the eyes they'll fill the extra space with like some kind of like sealer or something like that just to keep the wire from jumping so uh, this is just a quick video a quick tip if you guys have any questions or if you got a way or if you got a tip that you can add to help other people out there watching this video leave them in the comment section please like subscribe and share and i will check you guys out in my next video